matter that is civil or contractual or which concerns banking and general relationship between people which does not involve any criminal element must not be doubled into by either the police, EFCC, or ICPC, or any other anti graft or security agency. This has been the position of the higher courts of the land up to the Supreme Court that only matters that are criminal in nature should involve the attention of security agencies because security agencies cannot make or remake a contract for people but this has not been the case in nigeria what happens in nigeria is that invariably when two people are having a dispute and i've had many cases along this line concerning contract concerning land concerning banking disputes they quickly go and trigger off the EFCC to go and arrest the people so as to have an upper hand. We call it stealing a match, stealing a match on your opponent. We call it having an undue advantage of your opponent. If you feel your partner or your opponent has breached a clause in a contract, you don't report to the police. You resort, you go to a law court to have the law court interpret that clause of the contract to see who is guilty and who is innocent and who should pay damages and who should make restitution. So, but what has been happening is that particularly with sad, some people quarrel with weaker opponents, they simply go and report the matter to SARS or to the police or to the EFCC, and they pick up the person. When the person is detained, they wear him out mentally, psychologically, physically, psychically. And then they tell him, okay, how much are you ready to pay? How much do you want to cough out? The person not wanting to remain in detention signs off that he will pay so-so amount. But ordinarily, that was not the type of matter that should have gone to this anti-graft agencies. Mm. The person should ought to have gone to a court of law. So such people should challenge such detention in a law court invoking their fundamental human rights through the fundamental rights enforcement procedure rules. We say any person who believes that his rights have been are being or are likely to be infringed upon should approach the high court or federal high court in that area that has jurisdiction to ventilate his grievances. I think the more Nigerians begin to assert their rights, the more their rights and liberties will be respected. But for now, it is not like that. Well, the, the case of, of, of uh, uh, Seoul, Selwyn versus Smith says that a criminal matter can be prosecuted simultaneously even as the civil uh, element of the of the matter is going along so they are not mutually exclusive they are not they, they don't conflict with each other if for example in a land dispute the people one of the parties now go to the land to go and begin to plant when he has a dispute on the land all that the other person needs to go and do is to go and report the matter to the police that this person is invading my land and he wants us to fight and i don't want to fight in such a case the police can come in and make arrests and listen to the dispute but by the time they listen to the dispute and discover that it's a land dispute and nothing more at that stage they can advise the party who has complained do you know what Go to court and ventilate your grievances that this is your land. It is totally a different ball game. If one of them goes to the land and sees a person planting illegally or illegitimately on his land 
and then he now takes a cutlass and cut off his ear or his toe or, or bruise him or use a club to hit him. That has become a criminal offense of assault and battery. That is not the kind that the police will not have jurisdiction over. The police can now make arrests, not over the dispute concerning the land, but over why you should take the laws into your hands yourself mm. instead of going to a court of law, which I have already advocated, in, in attacking this person. That attack, that bruising, that clubbing, that injury, that is certainly a criminal offense. It's different from the, the, the civil or contractual matters that I have referred to.